guys, my name is Rebecca, aka Vegan Bodega Cat, and today I'm shooting a video where I'm rating vegan coffee at chain restaurants. Are they called restaurants, chain coffee shops? Let's just say coffee shops. Anyway, so we're gonna cover Pete's, Panera, Starbucks, and Dunkin' Donuts and see which one has the best vegan latte specifically, because that's what I usually order at Starbucks. And today I have my friend Christiana here to help me. She's oh been God. a barista for a little while, so I trust her judgment a little more than mine. She's my expert witness, my expert advice. <laughs> She's my expert opinion, that, that's what we're trying to say. Excited? Yeah. Have you had coffee this morning? No. I have not had coffee this morning. I have a headache, and this is the third time I had to shoot this intro, so <laughs> let's just go. So, Christiana brought some reusable cups. What's the brand called? keep cup and they're absolutely adorable this way we're not going through a ton of waste today so look at that can i get a tall hot latte with and i said as an ex starbucks barista this is not the best latte not the best latte. She just threw shade. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. It's not bad. It's not bad. I've seen worse. So the the big bubbles are not a good sign. It should be all that like silky microfoam. Nuts.com is where I get my dried strawberries. If you want really bomb dried strawberries, nuts.com. Also, yeah, chocolate covered oranges. They have those too. So we have our first latte from Starbucks. I mean, it looks like a latte. What I do like about Starbucks lattes is that the soy milk is like pre-sweetened so I don't have to add anything. I just kind of like get it and go. So Starbucks has coconut, almond, and soy. So basically if you're allergic to nuts and soy, you're screwed. Yeah. Yeah. I don't have much to say about this. I think we should just try it. I think I just need a coffee to start this video off. So do you want to like, here, you do the pouring because I don't trust myself. Good job. Is there like an official way to grade coffee? There is when you taste like espresso or just black coffee for but lattes. Not really. So should we make our own grading system? Yeah, sorry. So flavor of the coffee, the milk, the foam, and I think we should grade it on how thick it is because I feel like some non-dairy milks like super thin and yeah. gross. So viscosity? Yeah. That's the right word. Look, we're fancy. Okay, so we're gonna grade it on flavor, foam, and viscosity. Let's do that. Cheers. Cheers. Yo, I'm kind of like biased because I feel like Starbucks lattes, like the soy ones, taste kind of like marshmallows. And I it like does. That. I've never noticed that. <laughs> it does. Now I can't untaste that. Starbucks soy lattes have like a slight like marshmallowy taste, unless they burn the shot. Because when they burn the shot, everything tastes bad. But in this case, they didn't. So the marshmallow taste is there, and I might actually drink this whole thing. How's the foam? I feel like I'm a bad judge of foam. There is a medi mediocre amount of foam here. That's all I know. There's a medium <laughs> amount of foam. It, like, does it taste creamy? Foam has taste? You know, like, um, kind of like whipped creamy almost. Not very much like whipped cream. I'd give it a 7 out of 10 whipped creaminess, if that's what we're judging here. I know people might shit on me for liking Starbucks lattes. Whatever. Like, call me a basic white girl. I don't care. I think they're kind of good, and at least you know the quality you're getting when you get them. Yeah. Like, you know they're gonna be decent. That's the point of Starbucks, is that no matter which city you're in, yeah. you're gonna find the same drink. It's consistent, and that's so much better than spending five or six dollars and having a really crappy coffee. Just because you, like, chose some random coffee shop. I've done that too many times. Yeah. I'm gonna be really nice. I'm gonna give it a flavor 9 out of 10. I'm not great at judging foam with my bad experience. I'm just gonna give it a 7 out of 10, and then the viscosity also gets like, it's good. This is how thick I like my lattes. Yeah. So I'm just gonna give it a 10 out of 10 on viscosity. Flavor, seven out of 10. It's good, it's like Old Faithful, like you know it's gonna be there. Yeah. Viscosity, I'd give it like an eight, and then the foam, like an eight out of 10, it's pretty good. When you were working at Starbucks, what's like the most amount of coffee you would drink in a day? At one point, I was up to like, 10 to 15 shots. You're joking! And then I couldn't sleep at night because I had too much coffee. So then the next morning I had to drink a lot of coffee. That's a cycle. Yeah. They have so many like amazing bakery options and none of them are vegan. I, I checked last time I was here. Did you want vanilla latte or caramel? Uh, that's good. Ooh, vanilla or caramel. Just a Can we just do vanilla? Yes. Can I use a reusable cup for a latte? Uh, no, unfortunately. Yeah. Oh, okay. The standard size, sorry about that. Okay. 
Uh, Let's talk a little bit about the unsustainable practices of Panera Bread. Like you're in New York City in 2019 and they did not allow us to use a reusable cup. Uh, so shame, shame. They also didn't have like a regular latte. We had to choose between vanilla and caramel. Obviously caramel sounds delicious, but the cashier didn't know whether or not the caramel sauce had milk in it. So we went with vanilla. So here we have a vanilla latte with two shots. It looks very bubbly, oh, but very, good. but big bubbles. So I learned that's bad today. Take a look at this bubble situation here. This is my first time trying Panera coffee. Is it the first time for you? Yeah. Panera I know is all over the United States, but they only had one option for non-dairy and it was almond milk. Not super stoked about that because in general, almond milk is a little bit thinner in texture, but let's just try it anyway. Cheers. Cheers. You know, not as bad as I thought it would be. It's a little too sweet, yeah, maybe. Yeah, I'm gonna say it's good, but it's definitely sweet. So it's like, is the syrup hiding something? Or is it just maybe. not bad? <laughs> I don't know, it's hard to say. Maybe their almond milk is unsweetened, so they add either the vanilla or caramel sauce to make up for it. That's pretty good. It's pretty good. It, yeah. It's not that bad. Like if I was on a road trip and I saw this, I would get it. Yeah. This foam is not as good as Starbucks foam. Maybe a five out of 10. Yeah. And then for me, flavor wise, a seven and a half. I'm not a huge fan of very sweet coffee. Foam would get maybe, yeah, five out of 10. Maybe even a four actually, so maybe four and a half. Sorry, before we were interrupted by helicopters and construction noises, you were talking about viscosity. I'd give it like a seven. Yeah. Almond milk, so. I'd, I'd give it a seven as well. Yeah. I'd, I feel like that's good for almond milk though. I would get it again, but only if it was the only option there. All right, on to the next. It's a wild compost pigeon. Yeah. Here we are at good old Dunkin' Donuts. I've never had a latte here before, but I have had an iced coffee with not a great experience. Let's just see what happens. Do you have any non-dairy milk? Oh, you have almond milk? Yeah. Can I have a small hot latte with almond milk and two shots? Can I have it in my reusable cup? Thank you so much. This is like full all the way to the top. Aha, thank you so much. So here's a latte from Dunkin' Donuts. It actually looks really cute. It smells slightly burnt, not gonna lie. Um, but it is quite a bit of coffee. Let's do a taste test. I was rooting for them. I don't want another sip. I think they just burnt the espresso and they like burnt it really bad. The only option they had was almond milk. I'll give them a thumbs up for allowing us to use the reusable cup, so good for you. It was really bitter. Take one more sip. Nope, that's a nope, that's a nope. I'm not gonna rate it, it's just a nope. Here, your turn, have fun. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's like sour. Surprisingly, the, the foam's not that bad though, but the taste is... In my opinion, sour burnt is the worst quality that a coffee can have. Yeah. I would rather suffer from a caffeine headache than drink that. Rest in peace, little coffee. Goodbye. So we found the Pete's Coffee, but it's inside of Capital One. I'm not quite sure if they'll let us film, but I guess we're just gonna have to see. Hi. What kind of non-dairy, oh, coconut almond soy milk. Can I get a soy latte with two shots, a small please? Thank you. Before it gets ruined, check out the best foam we have today. It's so beautiful, and now I know how foam is supposed to look like. The foam is good, so that's already good. I can't tell on the coffee yet, though. It's really mild. So I think on taste, I would probably give it like a six, no, a seven for me. Viscosity, it's actually a little thinner, especially for soy milk, so I'd probably give it like a six. The foam is really good. Um, they use the Barista Series milk, like we saw when we were in there, and so, that's probably like an eight and a half, nine. But yeah, I would get it, but it's definitely a little on the mild side for me. I'm actually really excited for this because it looks beautiful. Let's just do it. I'd probably put more sugar in this, to be honest. <laughs> it's not bad. It's a little watery. The foam is really nice. I would drink it, but I wouldn't choose it over Panera or Starbucks. They did have like three um, milk options though. They had coconut, soy, and almond. So maybe one of the other options is better. 
who knows all right yeah so viscosity maybe a five it's pretty watery the foam is really nice it's really like fluffy and delicious so I'd give it again like maybe like an eight and a half and the flavor maybe a six and a half it doesn't taste like much but like it's one of those things like if I needed a caffeine fix I'd drink it I'm gonna head off all the comments right now saying you don't know anything about coffee why are you rating coffee like you like Starbucks oh, nah, nah, nah. yeah okay that's fine I never claim to be a coffee expert that's why I brought someone else who knows a little bit more about coffee than me but either way I'm just kind of rating based off of my taste and if people are curious in my taste or her taste then now they know and if they're not curious then they don't have to watch the video anyway so rate the coffees we tried today from best to worst I think Starbucks was the best and then Pete's then Panera and then Dunkin all right that's fair I think Starbucks and Panera are close I wish the Panera was a little bit less sweet and I kind of hate giving Starbucks first place because I'm just gonna get lots of hate comments for doing that but honestly if I were like presented with all these options and I wanted to get a quick latte I would just go to Starbucks. Starbucks won, Panera was in close seconds, then Pete's and then finally Dunkin Donuts. Dunkin Donuts is one that I wouldn't drink even if I was desperate it was just that bad and I feel bad saying that because they were really nice and they gave us the option of using our reusable cup, which Panera didn't, shame shame. All right, so that's all for today. Like if you like, subscribe if you wanna subscribe. If you wanna check out my friend, I'll put her Instagram down in my bio. If you wanna suggest other videos for me to film, then let me know in the comment section down below or DM me on Instagram. I'm very vigilant in checking my DMs. If you wanna follow me on Instagram where I post every single day, then I'll put my Instagram right here. <laughs> and that's all I have for today. I will talk to you next time. Goodbye! A shout out to my bodega babes, this family has grown so much over the last month. Thank you Jessica, Christina, Marlene, Osiris, Alex Creates, Maya, Michelle, Kaylin, Marielle, and Alex of Planet Earth. You guys are the best and I appreciate you so much.